This is Easter Sunday, and wow, what a beautiful day. If I want to have that lamb tonight, what do I have to do? I have to go ahead and actually take its spirit is because for some reason something said that I should in celebration. Okay, so do you have the heart? Okay, do you have the heart to do the dirty deed? Remember, you eat it and you disguise it with what? With what? With marination, with salt, with teriyaki sauce, with potatoes, and all these things. Remember, rethinking reality means that we look at our yesterday's reality and see if it serves us today. This is a parable. Do we really need to do what we've been doing? Remember, rethinking reality, changing the reality. Okay, let's see if we can try it again. I got bumped off there on my last uh, transition. Facebook number seven, live. This is Easter Sunday, and wow, what a beautiful day. So, we're, of course, observing the holy day, at least what we understand. And again, since we're rethinking reality, let's, well throw a few ideas out there. Remember, there's no judgment. We're not here to beat anybody's ideas up, disciplines, concepts, but we're just looking at maybe rethinking reality in a different way. Okay, maybe a better way. Just depends. Okay, so we're going to visit. Remember, it's Easter Sunday. We're going to visit. Hey, Chila. We're going to visit the Lamb of God. And who's that? The Lamb of God. And why are we going to visit Sheila? This is the back end of our farm right here, as you can see. And this is where Sheila and our super large cicada turtles live. Under the biggest tree we have on the property here, that's an Albizia tree. And it's like nine trees in one. And wow, what an energy. Full of flowers right now, too. Here comes Sheila. Oh, Joshua, your baby. Oh, baby. Oh, remember, this is the Lamb of God. Oh, baby. I brought you some food. And this is Sheila. Oh, she loves your daddy. No, she's your baby. Da, jo, jo. Da, jo, jo. Okay. And remember, the Lamb of God. What are we going to eat tonight? I don't know. Well, at my mom's place. We always ate on special celebrations, especially religious, since we grew up Catholic. Um, we, of course, well, ate lamb. Okay, the lamb of God. Remember, I'm going to go inside her beautiful house here, and we're going to, well, just see how the lamb of God is doing. And we brought Mr. Hody. We were driving around the farm here. And he goes on the tractor with me. Yep. And this is what we cut the lawn with. This is a turbo John Deere tractor. And it takes 40 hours a month to cut all of this lawn all the time. So, and these are part of the lychee. This is the third orchard we have of the lychee forest. And you can see all the lychees, they're starting to, to grow. And each tree has... Uh, could have up to two, three hundred, even sometimes four hundred pounds per tree. Okay, so let's go see Sheila. Remember, the Lamb of God. Wait a minute. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. What does that mean? Well, there are certain creatures here that... Here, let's, let's bring our stuff. Okay. Just making sure this thing's even on. <laughs> Is it on? Sometimes I can't tell technology, and it's super glare out here. Come on, mister. Okay, here comes Mr. Hody. Okay, there he is. Mr. Star of the show. Okay, so, these are the companions. Remember, it's Easter Sunday. Okay, I know a lot of people celebrate today. A lot of people mourn today. A lot of people, well, just have the day off because it's Easter Sunday. Remember, you're supposed to do something special. Okay, what about that? How about... Let's see. Hmm. Let's uh, sometimes take a look at what, of course, we do on certain holidays and celebrations. 
Okay? Now, I know that a lot of... I'm not here to beat on people's religions or your beliefs. Okay? But there are a lot of things we do that we do not need to do any longer. Okay. Come on, mister. Come on. Let's go see Sheila. We don't need to do need to do any longer. And what's that? Okay. Remember the Lamb of God. I could have came out here with a knife. Come here, Sheila. Come here, baby. Yes, you, Jojo. Oh, come here. Oh, baby. Come here. Oh. Okay. I could have came out here with a knife. Remember, I wanted my lamb dinner tonight. Okay. We're supposed to be mourning, and I have to sacrifice this beautiful, beautiful creature. Okay. And this is Sheila. She's an adopted orphan. We took her because no one wanted her. Mom didn't want her, and she was going to die. So Dr. Mari and I and Chris Russo, we bottle fed this little little baby. She was pure white, pure white when we got you. Oh, sweetie. And this is uh, another orphan there. They were going to give her away to someone that was going to eat her. So I said, no, 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 we'll take her. So, and these animals, again, remember, everything has personality. It does. But you got to go ahead and actually spend time with it. So let's say, okay, let's just throw this out. The idea, okay? The idea. If you wanted the old days, okay, remember, times have changed. The old days, if you wanted a garden, okay, it's only because you had to have one. Right now, well, you most likely don't need one. Why? It's because you can get it at the store. And if you wanted animals, what did you do? You grew them. And you had to take care of them when they got sick, okay? You had to take care of them when they, well, needed to be sl slaughtered, yeah, you had to take care of them in a way, of course, that wasn't so nice. Okay, so this is a parable. Do we really need to do what we've been doing? Remember, rethinking reality, changing the reality. No, look at her go. Okay, so I could come out here. Remember, she's just having fun here, just running. Come here, Sheila. Come on, baby. And I do. I come out here and I laugh myself. There she comes. Come on, baby. <laughs> I laugh so much is because all she wants to do is play. Okay? Come on, Gia. And she really moves. Go, baby. This is a deer, right? Come here. Okay? She's a twin hoof. Aww. Get him, baby. Woohoo! And again, I came out here to have dinner tonight. So what am I going to do? Which one do I kill? Which one do I murder? Which one do I actually take its life force away? Because for some reason in a book it says that I should have, well, lamb or some, some animal, some flesh, some blood. Does that make sense? Come on, guys. Does it make sense? Sasha, baby. Oh, let me see. Come give me a kiss. Come here. No, oh, she wants to run more. Look at Happy. Look at her go. Okay, so remember, these are just parables. I know these are sort of weird things to think about, but you know what? We need to. Why? It's because, remember, rethinking reality means that we look at our yesterday's reality and see if it serves us today. Remember, five cents reality is a very dumbed down reality. Remember, it's not like you think. It's real. It's five cents. It's half a brain activated either on the left or the right. You're either Republican or Democrat, okay? You're either mammalian, which is the limbic brain, or you're reptilian, the, the our complex brain, okay? Remember, it's all game. And what's the game you want to play? Equanimity. And what does that mean? That means get the sixth sense activated, because the five sense is an illusionary sensor system, because you can only smell and taste at the same time. And if you close your nose, you can't taste nothing. But all the other sensors, remember, they don't work together. They work separate. But the sixth sense reality is a reality. Remember, this is when you clean up your diet. This is when you really, really, really get back to not only nature, but being nature. Look around me. What do you see? Beauty. Okay. What do you hear? I hear birds. Okay. I hear all these creatures here in Sophia's forest. Okay. So, <clears throat> again, 
if you could take care of this lamb, the lamb of God, and I just brought this out just as a parable. This is the knife. I just did a video, okay? I just did a video on healing my knife wound. I dropped this thing and I made a severe, severe gash in my leg. Right here. Okay? Perfectly healed and I didn't use any steri strips, any stitches. I didn't use anything. I didn't use any pharmaceuticals, bacteria. Nah. I didn't get any problems. Remember, what if you couldn't go to the doctor? What if you cut yourself and couldn't get stitches? What if you didn't have medications? And this is what I did, okay? It's all sort of like a uh, scenario for me. I'm not in the hospital, so, and I'm not in, well, a place where there is a hospital, let's say. I don't have the money, let's say, and I'm just gonna, well, figure it out and see if these protocols work because it's on me. Remember, practicing protocols you have to do things on yourself to go ahead and see if they have worthiness so here's the knife and if I bring this knife down here okay what is it for it's for it's a tool and I can use this knife to trim things I can use this knife to I don't know turn a screw okay I can use this knife to do a lot of stuff okay but if I want to have that lamb tonight what do I have to do I have to go ahead and actually take its spirit is because for some reason something said that I should in celebration in celebration or maybe in mourn go to people's funerals their death their passing and what happens <laughs> you you eat death you celebrate death is by what eating more death it doesn't make sense it just doesn't okay we have some huge turtles in here too let me see if we can find them these are cicada turtles and I brought these guys from California it's part of the Dr. Bazaar Zoo <laughs> I got two 200 pound I'm under this big tree now what a huge energy come here baby okay I'm not sure where they went I just saw them walking here a minute ago and they run away where'd you go okay this is where they live this is all the wood the trees oh he went down this hole Okay, there he is. Hey, buddy. And we have two of them. There's another one in here. But you can see the hole he dug, and that's his, that's his house. This is a probably 250-pound turtle. And you can see where he lives. Pretty cool. Got all the grass he wants, all the clean water he wants, all the fresh air and sunlight they want. Bah! Okay, so do you have the heart? Okay? Do you have the heart? to do the dirty deed. Remember, you eat it and you disguise it with what? With what? With marination, with salt, with teriyaki sauce, with potatoes, and all these things. Come here, baby! Okay? But why is a question. Come here. Come on. Give me a kiss. Mm. Let me see. Come here, baby. Oh. And they're so loving. Look at her. Okay? Look at her. Okay? Wow, I don't even know what to say. Remember, an, a, if you talk about an angel, here you go. Remember, just eats grass. If you wanted to eat some type of a flesh being, then why don't you eat something that destructs things, that steals children out of nests, okay? Like cats, remember, mongoose, certain animals, they're pedophilia animals. And why are they pedophilias? Because they eat children. They steal, steal from, from well, from the mothers and fathers. These are animals that are pretty much demonic. You want to eat them, guys? And, well, maybe you're doing yourself a favor. But then again, remember, what you eat is what you become. Okay? And just because you eat the lamb doesn't mean... <laughs> how could you go ahead and actually eat this lamb? Remember, think. Do you need to keep doing this? Is it, is it, is it something you could do? Bah! Is it something you could do? Remember, it takes a lot of courage to talk. Remember, it's rethinking reality. I'm not here to go ahead and tell you what you're doing wrong, but think about it. Take care of Sheila, okay? When she gets sick, and come out and spend some time with her like I'm doing and run with her and play. <laughs> bah! And see that she's not a human. She's better than human, okay? See that she, she is a personality and a character, okay, that makes you laugh. Remember, the companions of, listen to the birds, Sophia are beautiful. They don't worry about money, they don't worry about position, they don't worry about learning. 
okay? Yeah, you can teach them some things, okay? But they don't need to learn anything. We need to learn from them, okay? Look at how they take care of their children, okay? Look at that. So anyways, let's see if you could go ahead and actually not only, remember, not kill it, not humanely get rid of it, but, but well, cut its throat as they do in the kosher world, okay? There is no way to be able to murder something humanely. Remember, once you get a different consciousness, well, we need meat, well, we need this. No, you don't, okay? I know it's going against your parasites right now, remember. Okay, I haven't had flesh at all, okay, for, I don't know, 15 years. Do I need flesh? We did a video the other day, yesterday, April 15th. Remember, April's big month. Got tax day, okay, due, okay? You got, you got your property taxes due, and you got reflection also due. Have you reflected on your last year? This Easter Sunday, it's a day to celebrate on your reflection. Was it worthy? Did it, did it make sense? And if it didn't, you know what you do? Change it up. Upgrade, enhance, optimize. Okay? All I wanted to do this time here was go ahead and just give you the parable. We don't know what we do. Forgive them for they do not know. But now you do. So if you do it, remember, if you could go ahead and kill this beautiful lamb behind me, that means you're a secondary psychopath. Okay? Why? Why? It's because your parasites say, feed me the blood, let me chew on dead flesh, let me make it smell good. Okay, remember, it's just not right. I did a lot of it, okay? I couldn't even imagine killing her so I could have my blood thirst. And remember, the animals you're eating, what do you think? They're grown like this, with green grass and everything? You're joking. Antibiotics, vaccines, hormones, suffering, death chemicals. Okay? It's not humane. Of course, you're eating death chemicals. You want to have some nightmares? Eat some of that. What do you think? The animals don't carry? Carry. Okay? Their, their cortisol, their adrenaline, right before they're dying, they're shaking so much. Why? Because what do you think? They got them lined up, slit in their throats, just like they do chickens. Everybody's in line. Watch the movie The Gladiator. Why? Is because you see them before they go out, before they have to go fight with the other guys. Okay, the guys that don't want to, you know what they do? They shake in their boots and pee in their pants. Okay, what do you think these things do? You think they don't feel? Nanu I gave you guys lots of videos on Nanu. Okay, she was also an orphan. And you know what? Her babies got away. Okay, all of them at the same time, like nine of them. And she was so sad. She wouldn't even come out of her out of her, her beautiful <laughs> little house to eat. Okay? So sad. Why? So sad. It's because they have feelings. What do you think? They don't? Okay? So this is where we need to wake up. Guys, the animals were here first. Okay? They were here first. Now, I don't care what kind of dogmatic stories that you want to follow. Remember, it doesn't matter. We did what we did. And now it's time to change it up. Up. Not down. Remember, if you want to talk about Satan's world, it's real simple, guys. It's a destructional system, so stop destructing. Stop adding to the system of destruction, and that includes drinking blood, making animals suffer. Remember, destruction is destroying the forest, destroying the animals, the creatures. Okay, remember, they were here first. We're a guest to them. Earth steward. We're supposed to take care of them. They are companions. Yes, they are. Does it make sense? Is it, is it, or is it short-circuiting your brain? Is because basically the parasites in your brain say, Robert Kassar, Dr. Kassar, Dr. Bazaar's crazy. I know. Remember, my layer is the seventh layer right now. It's the architect layer. Okay? Seventh layer. There's the sixth layer, which is critical thinking. And that's super confusing because you question everything. That means you've got both brains activated to some degree. And you question everything. is because you have to. It's because your sensors... Okay, or different than your five cents reality. Five cents, because it's worth five cents. That's it, five cents, okay? Five, ten, fifteen cent store. Okay, remember those? T, G, and Y? Okay, okay, it's a five cents reality. C-E-N-T-S. Is why? Because you got to buy it. You don't understand it. You believe in a lot of things. Remember, believe. And this is rethinking reality. Okay, no one's saying, okay, that... that Everything you know is not true, but then again, remember, as critical thinkers, we have to go ahead and check it out, and everybody's doing it the same way. 
Why? It's because a lot of a lot of stuff don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And if it makes sense to you guys, it's only because remember, the spell is strong. Once you remove these parasites, like I said, we just did a ten class, uh, ten category, uh, ten classes, the hierarchies of parasites, going from skin fungus to body fat to the extended belly to the ones that suck blood, to the rope parasite, the transformational shift, shapeshifter species. What do they eat? Where do they live? Okay, how to, how to let them go. Or in time, sometimes you may have to kill them. It's just what it is. These are invaders to your body. There are several different classes that is easy to go ahead and actually get rid of. The only reason why you got them is because you didn't know. Okay, you didn't know. So, you know, the ethereal spirits these ethereal parasites, remember, they're like called ethernet, ethernet. They're in the net. They're in the air. They're invisible. They feed off your thoughts. They feed off your emotions. You can't sleep at night? Quit watching horror films, like I said. Quit eating flesh that's full of death chemicals. It's just what it is. Okay? Quit, quit doing the things you're doing only because, you know why? It's because, well, you don't even know you're doing them. Remember, forgive them for they do not know. But since you do feel suffering, that means you need to change it up. Change your diet, okay? Will change the way your mind thinks. Why? Because you have less parasite poop in your body. And the more things you put in your body to process food, well, that means that everything that processes what lives inside you has to go ahead and poop inside you because it's this closed-end system. Remember, the body's just a machine. It houses tons of stuff, okay? Not only physical, not only emotional, remember? Eckhart Tolle, listen to chapter 4 and 5, The Pain Body. Okay, this is the same as the parasite body, same thing. You can read that chapter again, just change the word from pain body to parasite body. Okay, what do you think body fat is? It's parasite body. You think the big belly is, okay? It's parasite body. Remember, no judgment. Guys, it's your suffering, not mine. Okay, but then again, remember, there's a lot of things suffering because of our unconsciousness. It's just what it is. So Easter Sunday, what are we going to do? It's Easter, it's celebration day for us to go ahead and actually maybe see a better reality, to see something that actually makes more sense than the reality that I'm just following. Remember, we're all born into the, to the movie here. The movie. And what's that? Life. You wake up, okay, you're born. Your brain has zero programs to it, no software programs at all, and you're laid, interlaid with all the software programming until you get about 21 years old and you got yourself a box. Remember, the brain knows nothing. It doesn't have any programs at all, no software. It's like buying a beautiful computer, but it's got no software. What are you going to do with it? Nothing. And what software are you going to put in it? Stupid software, SS? Or are you going to put in smart software, SS? Okay, it's up to you. Okay, smart software means if you're going to put it in now, that means you have to take out and remove called stupid software. Okay, stupid software. I don't care if it's beliefs. I don't care if they're, they're things that we, we do, okay, that make what's called no sense, then stop it. Remember, if it doesn't make sense, it's because you come from the five sense reality, and that's five cents. Okay, we went over this before. You graduated high school, and what happened? You had to be super high to graduate high school. Why? Because there's a lot of indoctrination there. Of course you learn stuff. But there's a lot of things that basically you need to unlearn. Why? It's because we need to learn how to do gardens. We need to learn how to be sustainable. We need to learn how to use Sophia in a way that makes sense. And what's that? Not destroying her and the creatures that are here. Remember, Earth Stewart. The animals, the birds, bees, whales, snails, everything was here before us. Don't you think it would be sort of like, I don't know, seniority for us not to think that these things are our slaves? We came here, what, like a parasite to go ahead and beat up on, beat up on not only the creatures, but beat up on the forest? Come on, guys. Remember, we're a barbaric species on the collective. Yeah, there's a few this and that. Okay, of course. But there's, it's a barbaric species right now. Remember, and we need to help each other, rethinking reality with your name. Okay, it's a new YouTube channel, network we're putting together, got a lot of people already doing it. Okay, remember, you're rethinking reality and what helped you rethink your reality. I think, I think inquiring minds want to know. 
Okay? And so since we talked about blood, then, well, listen to Mark Passios. It's really good for you to listen to. He's, he's got a lot of good information. Remember, no one knows it all. Doesn't matter. Okay? And yeah, you don't like the way he looks or the way... It's, it's, uh, guys, it's not the messenger. It's just the information. It's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And maybe it'll kickstart your, maybe, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to take another viewpoint of, well, something you couldn't see before. Okay, look up his YouTube channel called, uh, well, Mark Passio, look up Natural Law. It's like seven hours long. Look up also Mark Passio Carnism. Okay, there's a lot of videos he has. I'd watch them all, but those are the ones since we're talking about blood. We're talking about pretty much demonic possession, guys. Okay, why would you think you need to drink blood? Come on. I mean, when, once you get it, okay, straight. Why do you have to go ahead and actually drink blood of another to be able to run in your short and pointless life? Because that's what it is when you, when you have to s steal someone else's energy. <clears throat> Instead of using the energy that we have that's totally clonable. I'm talking clonable, the plants. As much as you want. As much. Okay? And as you can see, of course, I live in a place that's the tropics. That's where you thrive. Okay? We don't, we don't water the grass. We don't have gophers either. And you can see, look at all the bananas, coconut trees, banana orchard right here. Look at the big racks of bananas there. Look, big, huge banana orchard over there. Another banana orchard over there. Okay, bamboo forest over here. Okay, which I have bamboo tea every morning. Okay, so Sophia, remember, gives us everything we need nutritionally in the plants. Everything we need medicinally. Everything. Just got to learn it, guys. And everything that you need pharmacologically. That's where a lot of patents come from. Where do you think they come from? If they could patent aspirin, they would in a minute. Problem is, is the aspirin that you get, remember, is fake aspirin. Okay, aspirin's not white. <laughs> Cocaine's not white either. Okay, aspirin's brown. Okay? So, remember, you want unprocessed things and you need to learn how the ancients used a lot of these things. And that's where we go over a lot of the things that I've learned traveling the world Okay, just got back from the Amazon last year, spent a month there, learning a lot from shamans, learning a lot from people that basically have nothing, nothing. And they're the happiest people in the world, and we got everything, and all I see is a bunch of sickness and people wanting more and more and more and more and more and more when you're finished with that more. And you're not going to be cessational. Why? It's because you're not, not working with nature. Remember, you're working with called, I call Satan's world. Satan's world is is, well, you, you, can't, you can't feed it enough, okay? It's a destructional system. So if you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is look and see. Are you a part of the destruction of the creatures, the planet? Or are you trying? Remember, are you trying, at least assisting, and wanting to bring heaven back to earth? And it can be done. It's consciousness that needs to change. It's consciousness. It's not free energy. It's all been here. Okay? All the different sicknesses. Okay, of course, please. It's all secrets. It's all knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And you need to be your own doctor and learn from other people on YouTube what they've done to be able to cure their sicknesses emotionally, mentally, physically, ethereally. Okay? So, anyways, it's a big game. Remember, evolution is the game, though. It's not just getting from sickness to health. Okay? That's one group. It's not just getting from health to to optimizational, okay, you're healthy, it's group two, and you want to become more. You want to become faster, quicker, and smarter, maybe smarter, okay? Or do you want to be group three? Do you want to become more of a human, more conscious, okay? And you can't even call yourself conscious, guys, if you're chewing on bones and drinking blood. Don't say you are. No matter what your religion say. Doesn't matter. Do you think that's the right thing to do? Travel the world. Go to China. They don't even have any animals there. If a dog's in the street, it's in the window. It's free game. And they keep the tail on so they can show you that the chocolate lab is, is very expensive because that's what everybody likes to eat the most. Okay? Remember, flesh-eating cannibals, do we really need to do that? And if we do, remember, death begets death. We eat death, and what do we do? We cause more death. We fight, okay, famine, okay, all these different, different dramas that we believe in. Why? It's because, 
I don't know, must be under the spell. <clears throat> Remember, we want to live in a utopia, don't you? A utopia, and it's a consciousness that's a utopia. Okay, no matter where you live, guys, okay, you got to really, really be smart. You do have a roof over your head. You do have electricity, even though it's, well, <laughs> it's resonance. You do have water, maybe full of chemicals and garbage, but then again, like California, you don't even have any water, so you're lucky you got some. Okay? And you do have food, even if it's GMO or full of pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides, fungicides, okay, gassed, okay, bud nip to keep it so it doesn't grow anymore, so you can keep it commercialized longer. Okay, look at potatoes that they they use in McDonald's, I read. Okay? They can keep though they have to keep them for months just to be able to get the weird residue of the pesticides. And they're good for a long time. Why? That's just special potatoes. <laughs> okay? Lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seeds bun. Okay? It <laughs> doesn't sound too smart to me. Especially when you know what's in it. Go to these fast food restaurants, especially when you look in the mirror and you found out you became fat. How do you think you got fat? It's because, remember, you got toxic. You got toxic. You think body fat is? Remember, it's a live creature, a glucose monster. Okay? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, these microbes do. They colonize and replicate and have babies and they say feed me again two hours. So you eat constantly all day and once you feed these things and they colonize, you got to dry them out a little at a time. Follow the terrain modification protocols. Okay? Again, you want a free membership? Okay? A free membership to Earther Academy. I have to charge a little money. You know why? You know how much it costs to go ahead and just keep that thing going with all the attacks we get and all the peace. You try to do good. Remember, no one wants you to. Why? It's just what it is a lot of times. So it's up to you guys to be able to, to sort of share information that you feel that has, has you know, hoofs put to it. Reality. Real. It's not just a scam. No, no. It's not just a pill. and It's not going to help you. Remember, it's doing a lot of things, okay, in many departments to be able to to slowly, okay, upgrade, enhance, and optimize. I'm in the sun right now getting plasma. You don't go in the sun until you clean your skin first. You put magnesium, coconut oil on, follow the skin cleaning protocols. Okay, this is how you get healthy. You need D3. How do you think you're getting it? Under fluorescent lights? Again, <clears throat> it's called waking up. It's hard to do. Okay, Neil Spadaka, 1967. Breaking up was hard to do. How about now? <laughs> it's waking up consciously. It's hard to do. Why? Because the programs are so deep. So, <clears throat> remember, you can live the way you want to, but I would live as optimized and minimalized as you can. Minimalized. You don't need to have a bunch of big stuff. Why? So you can show off? Why do you need a new car? Why? So you can show off? All my cars, I got four of them, but they're all for the farm. I got one, and the rest are 12 years old plus old. Up to 16 years old. I don't need anything new. They all run beautiful because I take care of them just like my body look I'm an old man <laughs> 50 57 almost biologically okay that's breath age nope that's my heartbeat age my biological age and every day okay from when our heart started to beat 30 30 days okay after conception boom you started to to accumulate biological mental ethereal emotional okay distress from your mother, from your father, from all the different assaults, okay, that you didn't even know that you got. So don't feel sorry for yourself, guys. You need to unwind a lot of stuff that wasn't even your fault. And again, if you think you need to go ahead and, and kill the Lamb of God, then God have mercy on your soul. That's all I can say. God have mercy on your soul. Oh, baby. Okay? You know, I feel so bad a lot of times just because the animals are suffering. You think you suffer people as, as, as what? Humans? You're not humans. Remember, you're earth humans. And you're following their rules of, of what? Of what? Sacrifice. <laughs> In celebration. Let's kill 25 bulls. You just killed a thousand people. Remember in Gladiator, Caesar says, No, it's okay. Save the bulls. Okay? Oh, look at her with her foot. She's just a beautiful, 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 beautiful angelic being. How could anybody, because you don't do the killing, guys. Okay? I feel bad. I just do. almost want to cry. 
You know, once you get connected back to these beautiful, beautiful beings, okay, okay, you think humans can go ahead and, or earth humans can, can give this energy of love without agenda, without, without all the things it needs and wants and desires that it won't tell you? Remember, these only want love. They want simple things. Okay? And they've taught me so much, my animals. They just have. <clears throat> Again, once you activate yourself to the seventh sense, the seventh sense is architecture, and everything is beautiful, and there is a purpose to everything. Okay? There is a purpose to everything. But until you see the purpose, you won't understand anything. And purpose is nothing more than you loving everything. Learn how to love. Wow. Learn how to love yourself. Oh, baby. Learn how to love all the creatures. Why? is because they would love you but they're scared shitless of you yes they are why because you want to rape them murder them make them suffer lock them up okay that's not good and you know what you wonder why you're locked up and caged yourself okay in a little box of an apartment okay surrounded in Wi-Fi okay going to the store and buying a bunch of food that basically you can grow yourself okay living in the city of course is is living in an illusion. It's all made up for you. It's a beautiful thing though, isn't it? Convenience. Why? Because you're bloody lazy. Okay? Remember, life is but a dream to live with nature. I'm just passionate right now because you know what? I'm really sad. Sad. Okay? Sad. Millions of creatures were sacrificed today in the name of what? Okay? Come on. Really. Again, rethinking reality. Make sense out of your actions. And if your actions don't make sense, then bloody well change them. And the first thing, like I said, is you need to clean up the body. You need to rid yourself of all these different parasites. And I call these things demons. Okay? Parasites are nothing more than being nice. It's like calling your body a body. And no, your body's a machine. This is a very self organizing, self intelligent self-intelligent self-innate it fixes itself repairs itself and it is unknowable no one knows what it is so shine it up shine it up and take care of it and honor it and respect it and maybe 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 all of a sudden the consciousness once you clean up the body the mind will go ahead and start to have critical thinking and you'll say I don't need to kill anything with a face okay to look what a relaxation. I don't have to wake up tomorrow to go ahead and murder something. And of course, you don't do the murdering. Again, <clears throat> watch the movie Earthlings. And watch it all the way through, guys, with your whole family. Remember, you're not here to break up your family. Okay, I've already done that stuff. Okay, remember, my, my greater family, I love my biological family. We just don't see eye to eye on many different points of view. And that's fine, guys. We're all here to... to to play the game that our minds can actually unravel that makes sense. Remember, you're either five sense reality and you believe, believe, and B E L I E, lie, believe it all. And you can be a smart, smart, smart person and have a five sense reality. Yes, you can. All you got to do is be a mimicker. Got to mimic, remember, mimic information, right or wrong, take a test, and you graduated with not a degree but an indoctrinational degree. <clears throat> Critical thinking right now is all over the planet, and of course, we all know, we, we do know that there's not a better way, there's a hell of a lot better way than the stupidity that we all run our lives by. It is. It's like a world of stupid, isn't it? Okay, guys, I'm censored just like you're censored. Everybody is, you know. <laughs> I try to even spend money and put videos out. They just won't let me, okay? It's up to you guys to send stuff around, okay? And it's up to you to go ahead and, and start to activate the next layer of, of avatars. Remember, avatars, ones that want to help assist bring heaven to earth. Does that sound crazy? I don't know. Better than those that want to assist in bringing death, misery, suffering, and destruction to earth. Satan's village, it's consciousness, or Santos' village. Santos. It's a village, of course, of the mind of the right thing to do because your heart's activated or the stupid thing to do is because you're just thinking with your mind, which is a bloody, well, five sense reality disease. Okay? Remember, it's time to wake up, guys, from the dream.
the dream. Okay, what's that? You don't even know you're in one. Remember, brain's a computer simulation with thousands of programs. Okay, do you feel that the programs that have been instilled upon you make sense? Then if they do, then keep them. Remember, this is only for people that want to really wake up to the next layer. And you have to honor yourself and honor your relationships and honor Sophia, everything about the creatures of Sophia. And do the work. Do the work. <laughs> what, do you think it's going to be easy? What, it's going to be handed to you? What, you're entitled to it? No. Look what you've done. Look what I've done. Look what we all have done, okay, in the last hundred years. Okay? You already know this. So change yourself. Again. It's really hard for me to keep doing this. This is my Easter Sunday. I didn't go anywhere. Okay, I felt compelled to be able to share just some truth. It's just my reality. And if your reality feels cool, then keep what you think that is right. But if you have, remember, a splinter in your mind and you feel that there may be a better way, I didn't say to stop anything. I said a better way. Okay? And maybe some of the things you may have to stop. You know why? Because that ain't the way. I don't care what anybody does. Remember, is it up to you? You. Do you have a heart? Do you, do you run your, your, your mind from here? Or do you run your mind just from here? Needy. Okay? Naggy. Complaining. Victim. Oh me, oh my. Yeah, I know. That's a disease in your head. Okay? Anyways. Enough's enough. But I'm just trying to really say, guys, there is light at the end of the tunnel, but you need to go ahead and shine a flashlight from in your dark tunnel that you don't even know you have. Remember, you're just spinning in a dark circle. And if you think, remember, take your clothes off, look in the mirror, and see if you have the infections. Not infection, infections. Okay? Infections. And that doesn't sound cool, does it? No, it doesn't. And as when you walk around, go to Walmart, Costco, go to all the places where, where, where regular folk shop and just look and see the herd, the cattle, the goy, the people that basically are unconscious, sort of like what they call the walking dead. And they do, they sort of hump, they, they don't even walk, they waddle, okay? Again, they're not well-rounded here, they're well-rounded here, okay? It's called gluttony, it's called parasitic demonic possession. It's just what it is. And fasting will help you, yes it will. Stopping a lot of the things that actually are feeding a lot of the things that you don't even know that are feeding off of what you eat, what you think, what you feel. Okay? No, it's remember, it's a game. We all need to help each other. Remember, we all mean well. That's the best part. At least we know we're going up the mountain in the right direction. Remember, last thing before I go here. Life is but a journey. It's a sojourn. We start when we're born with one clear water bottle. Okay, and as we get indoctrinated with social engineering by mother and father, by vaccines, by snip snip, okay, on men, okay, by by doing all the things that we do. Don't breastfeed your kid. Go ahead and make sure you go to work. Yeah, don't be a mom. Yeah, no, no, the lady up the street will watch them. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Then why'd you have a child? Why'd you have a child if mom can't instill the love, care, nourishment? Okay, and things that she knows is the best thing for her child to be able to go ahead and flourish in the future instead of just dropping them off at the bloody babysitter with habla españoles personas y, y no puede componente. Okay, wake up. And the best mothers I've found are not usually women that speak English. They're women that basically are from Latino cultures or different cultures that still respect family. Respect. Respect la familia. Okay, I study lots of different groups here. And remember, the mainland has lost their ways in many ways. And like I said, the younger group is, is well, the group that's going to help the older group out. It's because the older group can't see it. They're too busy, too sick, too poor, okay, and too dysfunctional. Remember, if sexuality runs your life, you got problems. Yes, you do. Okay? If food runs your life, you got possession, just like sexuality, possession. Why do you need to have what you do? And if you've got mental movies all day, at night, nightmares, you've you got problems, you've got possessions. You feel sad, you're taking antidepressants, oh yeah, that magic pill, hey, it's going to help my heart, sure thing. 50 million people taking antidepressants, 
Nice job. Looks like a lot of sad people. S. Sorrow. S. Okay. Why? Because you're eating sacrifice. S. And it's causing a lot of sin. S. Yes, it is. Okay. And guess what happens? You get parasites when you actually sin. You just do. You don't think so again. Take your clothes off and look and see. And if you have, as I did, repent. <laughs> Make the body its church like it was intended to be. Kick out the bullies, all the ones that you don't need inside your system. Because remember, they're demonic. They're stealing your energy. They're stealing your energy. Okay? And if you don't think so again, <laughs> that's why you feel dumb and dumber sometimes. And that's why maybe you hang around your friends because they're just as dumb as dumber than you. Remember, no one wants to help each other. All you want to do is text back and forth and do what? Twitter? Facebook? About what? About how happy your life is and real realistic? <laughs> you're happy? No, you're sad. Okay? You're sad. Okay, so this is where we all need to rethink reality and help each other in ways that make sense to help our feelings, to help our mental frickin' confusion, to help our words that we speak. No more swearing, guys. Please, don't. That just attracts demonic entities. No more watching horror movies. It attracts ethereal demonic entities. Yes, it does. No more drinking blood. What do you think's in that? Good? I dare you. Go ahead. Especially go ahead and kill the animal yourself so you can have mental movies about it. Okay? And if you were going to have anything, remember, it's, it's, a, it's a consciousness that would be more of a herd consciousness, like a fish. If you're going to have to have flesh to cut yourself down, guys, then you know what? Then... Don't eat anything unless it replicates a hundred times to get off flesh. I had to get off pork. Pork is filthy. It's full of pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, GTP, vaccines, all of it. Remember, the human is 85% pig. And what you eat is what you are. And I see a lot of people, a lot of people. I know. Look, I'm not bagging on you guys. I'm just looking as a genetic uh, eyes. I see a lot of people look like the pig. A lot of people acting like the pig. All they care about is food and a little bit of smell okay dings them right to the table first in line and not only that seconds too and slow down when you're eating guys remember that okay because if you're eating fast it's only telling me one thing that you got members something inside you that wants you to swallow big pieces non-processed so they can do do their food okay which of course is not you breaking down your food it's just give them the food they will process it Okay, and this is not smart. That's why you got to learn a lot of different pieces. So, <clears throat> again, Easter Sunday, time to reflect, time to think. Even if you had flesh tonight, guys, tomorrow, do you really think you need it? Just go on 21 days with no flesh and blood. I've done lots of videos on this. Okay, lots of videos. Again, if you you have the courage to be able to share, show, tell, and share. And I'm willing to give you 360 numerical credits, okay, as transfer, just for opening up YouTube channel, Rethinking Reality, with your name, okay? You don't need to hide. Remember, trying to help your brothers out, your sisters out, trying to help people see, see what, of course, the system won't show you because we're just trying to help each other. That's it. So it makes sense. It's not like you're doing anything evil. You're not trying to go ahead and deceive. No, lie. No, you're trying to go ahead and flush out a bunch of BS. And so your mind can go ahead and actually make better decisions. Discretion, morals, integrity. Remember, this is when you feel cessation. This is when you feel the love in your heart. And what's that? That's when you start doing the right thing. Okay? Doing the right thing. Remember, when you know you do things that are wrong, do you think that you get unpunished because you got away with it? Remember, these ethereal parasites, they feed off of that energy at night in your dreams. And it's because there was an energy made when you cheated, when you almost got in trouble, when you argued, Brah! cortisol. Okay, what do you think? Body processes it? Yeah, it's food for non-physical parasites. Wow. I call them ethereal parasites. Some feed off of thoughts. Some feed off of emotions, energy in motion. Everything feeds, whether it's form or formless. Yes, it is. Remember, a piece of wood is form. We light it on fire and it's formless, okay, to solidity. Okay, remember, the parasites find their way inside us is only because our morphogenic vibration lets them 
B. Okay? Isn't it so? So what do you do? Change your dial. Change your morphogenic frequency so you get more light, more energy, okay? more clarity. You become less, less confused. Why? It's because you have more energy, more vibration, less food. You don't need food like you think. I eat a meal a day, guys. <laughs> I've been doing this. Look, one meal a day. Okay, I'm really super strong too at 57, almost 57. Okay, way better. I can do the splits on the ground. Okay, and I'm an old guy. I rebuilt myself. I wasn't born with any of this stuff. And in fact, all my friends that had any muscles when they were 18 years old, when I used to compete in bodybuilding, guess what? They're all fatties. Why? It's because you haven't learned how to detoxify yourself and learn how to really be smart in a world that is really smart or when you look at it is really stupid so it's up to you if you think it's real smart then follow follow the herd and just check out what the herd buys and then know in time if you eat what the herd eats do as the herd does okay then you will be just like the herd dysfunctional yes siri okay it's just what it is if you don't think so again <laughs> you just live in a reality of of dreamhood okay remember it takes physical physical work to be able to rebuild yourself purify it doesn't come from a pill you don't just purge just because you think about it. it's not namaste you gotta do the work and a lot of the work remember means that you don't repollute it remember, once you cleanse and you lose shame in the body lose guilt why you lose guilt because you stop drinking blood and again kill that animal and see if you can and if you can remember just like Mark Passio says you're a second class second layer psychopath you don't have any feelings for anything and you even eat it okay after you've killed it and maybe you didn't even kill it the way you would want to be killed fast and quick a knight's death not some stupid suffering death again there is no reason to kill anything and if you think so remember it's a mind parasite it's a it's a belly parasite that wants blood and once you stop drinking blood again the blood parasites you've picked up they don't die remember they keep on sucking your blood so now you have to learn how to terrain modify them out of you okay terrain modify them out of you, you need to upgrade enhance and optimize over 50 departments a little bit at a time and there are protocols that are experimental of course all of them are remember it's work in progress so don't blame anything on me that you're trying remember I'm just a student like you I'm just showing you some of the things that I do and that's why again I have Earth Academy and that's why we've set up Earthshift products for you so you could have all the real products at your fingertips okay worldwide shipping okay super discount my daughter runs this company okay does a beautiful job and it's really hard to run these things man <laughs> it just is okay you know what it takes to be able to go ahead and actually really really find the best of the best of the best put it in the right packaging and sell it for cheaper than anybody else can and of course it's not made for making money we have other companies for that how could you make money if you're selling it at a discount with free shipping and all that stuff you can't okay so but as long as we don't lose it well it's a good thing <laughs> So anyways, guys, there's 20 things I put up. I'll go ahead and add them, okay? 20 uh, recommendations that I would recommend for you to upgrade, enhance, and optimize, okay? Most of them are from Earthshift. They're all cheap things like tongue scrapers, sodium bicarbonate, activated charcoal, MSM, ultimate green protein, okay? Go organic, okay? Fulvic acid concentrated, magnesium minerals concentrated, silica concentrated, not that watered down stuff that everybody's selling. Just getting getting ripped off, guys. New Age charlatans are everywhere. They all need to make Moni. Remember the ethereal money. Went over this on the last video. Okay. Okay. Remember, watch watch your your things that you buy. If you're going to get a steam distiller, don't buy the Chinese ones. I've already had ten of them. It's not that they're all bad. Maybe they'll make them better. But the ones I've had, I've had terrible, terrible. Okay. Uh, where are you going to get the parts? So the ones we sell, of course, the cheapest on the internet, and plus we give you a bunch of extra stuff. Sound like Cal Worthington here. Guys, figure it out yourselves. Just trying to help you out. That's it. Everyone says, oh, you're trying to make money. If you think, <laughs> and the ones that run my websites and everything, you think we're doing this for money, you're mistakenly wrong. What else is there to do when you wake up to the seventh layer? See, my layer grows when other people actually change their layer, when they start to un-, un 
uh, fold. Stupid, it's called. <coughs> Start coughing up stupid. <coughs> you cough up stupid. And that means you're, you're going to start to see more insanity. That's good, though. Remember, in order for you to get your sanity, you've got to clean the body. You have to honor the body. You have to honor your friends. Get rid of the ones that don't work. Drama for your mama, victimhood. Let them go. Maybe you'll come back in a little while if they want to do the work by getting the toxicity out, which makes their mind crazy. And remember, inherently, women, okay, have a different energy. They run off the emotions, okay? And if you bother them too much, because they run off emotions, they get crazy. So watch it. And men, well, they're supposed to run on reason and logic, okay? Yes, they are. But once you... Once you activate the little brain down here, you know what happens? Okay? Men get stupid. And then women get really crazy. So guys, if you haven't seen, you know, and I got cut off before, I've been studying the, the trans, not gender, but this sort of like weird gender fight between men and women. Guys, learn it. And don't, don't beat each other up. Look up MGTOW and wigtow, M-G-T-O-W and W-G-T-O-W. Women going their own way and men going their own way. Not too many videos on women okay, going their own way because, well, it's not a man's world. We are the builders of form. Okay? Women are the procreators of form and they've pushed you in a corner to, to well, sort of compete against all the things that we love doing. Okay? It's not a cool thing, uh, especially if you're 20 or 30 or 40 years old right now and being a woman or a man. Because most of the time, remember, okay, uh, 1940s and 50s, okay, look back at, at the way real women used to be and real men used to be. Fathers knows best. Mom doesn't go to work. No, but dad made enough dough to be able to go ahead and make it so mom could go ahead and be a divine mother. A divine mother. Show, show them how to maybe make their own clothes. Show them how to make a garden. Maybe show them how to do multiple instruments. Okay, musical instruments. Maybe, well, maybe study multiple languages. Why? It's because that's what real moms do. Okay? And making sure that they really learn reading, okay? writing, and arithmetic. The rest is BS. Homeschool is the best way. Remember, you self-teach yourself and self-learn yourself. And if you want to get indoctrinated, there's nothing wrong with that. Because you know why? You'll still live an okay life. Remember, ignorance is bliss, but then again, we're supposed to wake up within the dream and dream a little better dream than the one that we've been dreaming for millennia. Millennia. Okay? Death, destruction, famine, war. Okay? Enough's enough. Again, the end of the constellation of hell was 2,012 years. Remember? Zero. Zero, zero, zero. Let the games begin. 2017 years ago. Bink. How do you think they got 2017 years ago? Zero, zero, zero. Let the games begin. The constellation of duality. Remember, it's all symbolism. Duality. Left brain and right brain. Not activated. Half a brain activated. Fighting against each other. Fighting against nations. Fighting against religions. Fighting over what? Well, that was the game. Okay? Well, that was the game. Suffering, murder, rape, as much as you can. And learn as, learn as many ways as you can, as we did. Okay? And right now we're in 25 years. 2012 years was the end of the, the calendar. It's the end of hell. We're in purgatory right now. And it's all symbolism. Okay? Purgatory. 25 years of purging. Purgatory. 25 years of purifying. Purgatory. And 25 years of rebuilding the mind and body. Okay, this is the new species that's, that's wanting to, to emerge at this time. But you've got to do the work. Remember, 2,000 years of a lot of dogma, a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of lies. A lot of truths in front of your face only because, you know what? You didn't have the internet. You didn't have all these different things to be able to go ahead and share. You had to re realize on authorities and, and aristocracy giving you the truth that you, of course, well... <laughs> whether you liked it or not, how to learn. Just what it is. Remember, the age of the revealing is the Aquarian constellation, and that's the next constellation. Let the games begin. Okay? Just like in the Matrix. Welcome to the new world. Welcome to the real world. It's right now. Okay? But in order for you to see the real world, remember, we need to be very smart and live as Earth stewards. Live as a non-destructive being. Live as a constructive being, constructive with ourselves, and very much a minimalist. A minimalist. Why do you need all the things you need? 
Remember, most of it's clutter and garbage, commercialism, made in China, Schmina. Okay, guys, buy local. Okay, all the companies that you're spending your numerical money, they don't put it back in the system. That's how the system gets dried out. And they put more numerical money in, and supposedly there's more debt, which all you got to do is just press a button and reset the computer. Because there is no money. Remember that. I know it sounds weird, but it's what it is. Okay, it's ethereal money now. It's numbers. On the internet. Going through the air. I just paid some bills today. On PayPal. Through the air. Okay, what transferred? Any, any physical things? No, just numbers. Actually, binary sequence numbers. From one credit account to another credit account, because that's all it is, is credits. Paper, plastic, just like you go to the store. And when you go to the bank, you get paper, plastic, and that's it. And you can get some coins that don't buy you nothing. Just smell your hands up. <laughs> And smell that money, remember, that money was made with suffering. Smell it. See if you can pick up the smell of money. The smell of suffering. You think you make money and you're happy? What are you, joking? Remember, you have to suffer to make Satan's currency. Satan's currency, why? Because if you don't spend it on things that are good for you, if you don't spend it on things that are worthy, okay? Look at all the monies that people have, supposedly billionaires and all this stuff. Guys, why don't you do something with your freaking money? Why don't you go ahead and instill those that are sort of hippie people that have unwound themselves. They got a lot of good ideas, but they got no gas. None. Okay, so remember, the system is what we create. No, is what we can see to create. It's not what we can create. You don't even know what to create. If not, you would have already bloody well created it. Okay? Remember, we're finding out about resonance and electricity. We're finding out about the construct of the planet. Remember, it's time to know. It's time to think. Okay? It's time to rethink reality. And remember, the last game was, of course, called Age of Duality. It's called Satan's Lies. Everything was north, that was south. Okay? Everything was south was north. Everything that was, well, right was wrong. And anything that's wrong was right. <laughs> Backwards. It's just what it is. It's just symbolism. Symbolism. That's all it is. Jordan Maxwell will tell you a lot about symbolism. Santos Bonacci will tell you a lot about symbolism. Astrotheology. Stories are beautiful. Allegorical stories. Not literal. Why are you fighting over all this literal stuff? Were you there? Okay. What are you fighting over? What, your position? What, your beliefs? Remember, learn what belief means. Remember, it's got lie in the middle of it. It just means you think so is because you've been told so and you believe in that structure is because if not it'll ruin your sort of structure okay so this is the time now remember duality's gone the age of hell is over but it's still here as you can see and it's all in your head so what you have to do is purge purify and rebuild the year of 2017 is to wake up within the dream start dreaming a better dream than the one that you dreamed well well, if you're a holograph and that means your mother and father made you, their mother and father made them, that's four, and their mother and father made them, that's eight, and their mother and father made them, that's 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1028, 2056, 5020, keep on going. 46 times, that's only 30 years per generation. What number do you think you get to? It's pretty credible. Okay, remember, we're a blended species right now. There's no pure species. There's no chosen ones. There's no certain species except for a very few that kept their bloodline within so tight in their family they'd have children with their, with their family. <laughs> they'd have children with their brothers and sisters. That's a keeping the bloodline tight. Okay, remember, go back 46 generations. 46. It's not even so-called the whole constellation of duality, which is 2,000 years ago supposedly the day Jesus was born, the day that the game began, the game of duality. Okay? Think about it. Okay? 2,012 years ago, okay, the age of duality, and now it's time to be able to reveal all secrets at this time. Okay? So, think about it. I'm just going to make you remember, I already told you a little piece. You're saying, well, what about the, what about the 46 generations? Going back, 46 generations, 30, 30 years per generation. That's 46 times in binary sequence. Remember, 0, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 4. Keep going 46 times. What number do you think you get to? It's a magical number. 
same amount of number of cells you got in your body. That's why I used it. 46 chromosomes, 46 generations. That's 100, not million, splices. Because remember, your mom and dad made you. You're just biological splices, 50% of each other, and wow, everybody screwed up. Well, what do you think? That's what happens when you keep splicing and splicing and splicing. Okay, so what do you got? You have 100 trillion splices. Just 1,500 years ago. Talk about ancestry, guys. So please, none of this fighting with nations, none of this fighting with boundaries. It's all BS. Guys, everybody's blended. What, bloodlines better? Which one? Which one? What, the Asian, the white, the black, the brown, the yellow, the red? Come on, guys. Every, every system has suffered. Isn't it time now to be able to make amends with everyone? And put down your, I'm going to put your guns down. Why would you need to fight, guys? What? Because someone told you to? Watch Mark Passio's again on, on uh, uh, commands, okay? Or, uh, what is it? Uh, I have to add it later. It's uh, order takers is what it is. It's because. <laughs> it's what happens. We're trained from a very young age to learn from, of course, orders, whether we like it or not, whether they're right or wrong. Remember, and you're in charge of your own mind now, so you're going to have to, well, take apart a very, very beautifully built house of stupid and start breaking it down a little. And the older you are, the smarter you are, the more intellect you have, the more you've paid for, for your degrees. Remember, the harder it is for you to wake up. Why? <laughs> it's because it's going to hurt. Anyways, guys, time to get, uh, I'm going to cut the lawn right now. And, uh, yeah. Time's, of course, a beautiful time now. Sun's going down. Remember, sun, Christos, the sun, Christos, symbolism, Father Sky, is going to set, okay? Sun is going to set. Christos is going to give its power over to set, to Satan. Hmm. A special time when, when the powers of light and the powers of darkness actually converge together. And this is what's going on right now with, with, with us and our brains. There are some people with five sense realities, some people with six sense realities, and some people with seven sense realities. And it's a little weird. It's because it's clashing. So the five sense reality people, guys, open your mind up. Free your mind. Okay? Free your mind. And how are you going to do that? Learn from, from other people. They're called revisionists. Okay? Remember, they're looking at everything. They're looking at, okay, everything. Everything that we've been told in a good way. Remember, it's the revealing. Why wouldn't you want to know? <laughs> I think it's cool. People say, why do you want to know? If you live on a round spinning ball or you live on a magical plane, why would you want to know? Well, just because if you believe in certain things, that means you don't believe in creator source. You don't believe in some type of magical thing. You believe in mishap. You came from a piece of bacteria and came from nothing. And of course, the Lamb of God, the trees in my head and all the fruits, the bees, the world, uh, as we see it, just came from nothing. Bananas, pineapples, okay, lilikoi, reptiles, snakes, billions of species that we don't even know of in the ocean, in the Amazon, insects, ants. And look at their programs. Mm, ants don't go to school, do they? But they're the largest colonies on the earth. Okay, and we're like ants on the surface, and we're destroying, like some ants do. Fire ants destroy. And so we need to change our ways and quit being a destructive animal. And this is what we have become. And so one at a time, guys, remember, you're not changing nothing on the outside. You need to change yourself a little at a time. And that's it. And what a beautiful thing. Share your, your progress that you feel that others can learn from you. That's it. Rethinking reality. Okay, guys, let's just say goodbye to Sheila. <laughs> I love these guys. I come out here and I laugh, okay? Not only laugh, look at them eating grass, okay? They eat as much as they want. <laughs> come say goodbye. Aw, oh, baby. Okay, give me a kiss. Aw, oh, what, a, what a beauty. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. And again, do you think you could do the dirty deed? Even if you didn't even take care of this animal. Even if you didn't even feed it or do anything. You came out here, here's the knife. Hey, George or Lisa, go out and kill the lamb. Clean it up. We want to keep the hide. And, well, we'll put the bones in wherever we want to put them in for, for fertilizer. Yeah. Sure thing. 
Okay? Anyways, guys, rethink reality. Remember, it does make sense to upgrade, enhance, and optimize your health and wellness. And of course, when you do that, you get joy, bliss, and happiness. And then, when, then what happens? What do you get? Evolution. Okay, there we go. Sun's so nice right now. Okay, aloha. We'll see you next time, guys. And here, let me just give you the last little... This is the shadows right now. This is where sun goes down to set, and it makes the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shadows to light. Remember? Shadow to light. This is the time where you see the most beautiful colors, and you get a chance to really see the contrast in everything. Okay, we're coming. Okay, aloha. Just said I have low battery, so there we go. <laughs> Okay, we'll see you next time, guys. Hugs for everybody. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go ahead and uh, click the, the subscribe button because a lot of people say they're getting unsubscribed for some reason. Remember, I don't subscribe, unsubscribe people. I can't even do it. Can't, I can block you. But our Earther Academy channel, okay, has a YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, we have our Facebook. But uh, Earther Academy, sign up for the newsletter. And we're going to do a question and answer in a very short time. Uh, all you got to do is sign up for the newsletter, it's free, and we'll answer questions uh, that have to do with philosophy for the public, and uh, a deeper question and answer when we get into the Earth Academy members. What are we going to, you know, question? Well, principles, practices, and protocols, okay? In ways, of course, that I can explain to you that's not open to the public. Remember, the system has guidelines and anything that has to do with helping someone mentally emotionally physiologically anything is of course sort of not cool so guys again aloha and I love you all right we'll see you next time aloha say goodbye show me your wings show me your wings show them there you go the ham show me your wings Okay, this is this is the man, Hody. Okay, aloha. <laughs>